we, we just didn't have it. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Disappointed with this loss. Uh, disappointed with um, our body language, lack of ball movement, um, all correctable errors. You know, normally over the last what two and a half years since I've been here, you know, I try to be really, really positive um, in these press conferences. You know, dating back to any of the losses we've had. But again, you know, I just told the team the truth. We just weren't very good. We didn't have that, that focus. Uh, we missed too many assignments on both ends of the floor. And um, it's not on them, it's on me. But we, 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 we got to get back to work um, after the Christmas break. Thank you, Coach. Start on the left side, Avery, how much of you guys' offensive struggles was them on defense, and how much of it was self inflicted on you guys as well? Give them some credit. I know a lot of times when something goes wrong, you don't want to give the opposing team the credit. They, they are a very good defensive team. Bamba is a problem on defense. Obviously, I don't know how many block shots he had, but uh, I'm sure he probably had four or five. And even when he didn't block a shot, he was making it hard on us. But if we're going to go anywhere as a team, you know, when you go to play the Arizonas and the Texans, of the world in the Minnesotas, you got to win your share of games. All right, win year three. It's not about good try. This wasn't a good try, by the way. But you got to win your share of games if we're going to take that next step as a program. We're going to have plenty of time, opportunities to do it in conference, and obviously we got one nine conference game left. But uh, we we got to be willing to take that next step, and we just we didn't show a lot of maturity tonight. We haven't been getting off the great starts. I got to take a serious look at our lineup. But that's what this break is about. We'll evaluate, evaluate it. We love all of our guys. But at the same time, even though you love them, you know, you still got to be able to tell them the truth. Back row, right there. Uh, Charlie. I saw Colin kind of limp off a little bit there at the end. Is, is everything okay with him? Do you have an update? Well, he's, you know, he's he had a little bit of a tweak there in his growing. And uh, I think he got some cramps there at the end of the game. But we've been trying to manage him over the last week or 10 days. But, um, you know, I just think he started cramping up there. got a little dehydrated at the end of the game. Stay on the right side, Alex. We've seen the last several weeks that uh, it, obviously it's been an issue for this team the last few years, long scoring drops, long shooting, you know, four or five minutes at a time. I guess what did you see that compiled to it today? I mean, what, what was the reason y'all could do Well, you know, I think the main thing is the un untimely turnovers. We're making a run in the first half. Their back defense set, we just throw in interceptions. We just throw in the ball to the other team at the wrong time. And uh, we just got to do a better job because then you can't really get your defense set. So you're going down on the four on three, and then you throw the, we throw the ball to the other team. They come back three on two. And it's not really any forced errors even though they're a good defensive team. So it's just decisions. Um, we, you know, we, we, we have a lot to watch on this video and a lot to watch in our first, you know, 12 games of the season when we come out of this break. But also, you know, at this point, I would have expected us to be a much better three-point shooting team. We've struggled shooting the three. You know, right now it's kind of petty or no threes. We got to figure out a way to generate some more offense from behind the three point line uh, with other guys that are capable of shooting quality threes. The threes is one thing, but I know you talked about Bamba influencing shots even if he didn't block him. Does he uh, maybe scare people off from even trying to, to dribble down the lane and, and even trying to get anywhere near that, that room? Well, I don't think we were scared. We got down there, we didn't make very good decisions when we were in there. We were trying to take him on a little bit too much and you know, the big guy can't hide. You know, you got to want the ball. You got to move to the open area. I thought Daniel Giddings, I thought Daniel Giddings gave us some quality minutes tonight. But, uh, you know, we, we just have to do a better job. We got to do a better job as a team. We've been having too many slow starts. Um, we, when have you seen us get up 10 2 on the team to start a game? All right, so we, we have a lot of work to do. Um, when we look at the uh, non-conference, it obviously wasn't an overwhelming success, uh, but we've won some close games that could have gone either way, but we have work to do. We, like I keep telling you guys, we're, we're a long ways away from being a finished product. Coach, you 
a couple more questions for you back. Coach, I know your team is just now starting to get completely healthy, but going into conference play, do you feel like this team has a sense of an identity of what they are yet? No, not yet. And I just think, you know, now we got Braxton back. He's played two games. Uh, you know, he's looking to get in rhythm. It's, you know, trying to, you know, make sure that he adjusts well to playing with our guys. And this is not playing in Canada. You know, we're playing exhibition. This is the real deal. So, um, and you're playing against really good teams, and that's why we've scheduled this way. We could, we could easily be, you know, 10 and 1 with a softer schedule, but I don't think it's going to be, would have been beneficial for us going in the conference. Do a couple more questions. Front row to right, do you agree with them? Coach, we were talking to John and Daniel Gibbs. They were talking about how they didn't, they didn't feel like they ran hard enough back on defense. How concerning is the transition defense right now? And then a lot of the stats are, are even in this game between the two teams, but they seem to win a lot of 50-50 balls. That's right, a lot of 50-50 balls. So that says something about your DNA. You know, I just think we, we, we've had two different situations where we felt we had a team in the past that couldn't score. But they were a hard hat team, 50-50 balls, rebound, nasty. Now, you know, we have a little bit more of an offensive team, and when we're not playing well offensively, it really affects our defense. But that's a lack of maturity. We're going to have to grow up really fast. Uh, when you, you know, when you have three freshmen out, when you have three freshmen on the court, uh, you know, they haven't played a lot of basketball yet. They, they haven't seen a lot of things, and they're playing against some older guys sometimes. So we just have to make up for that immaturity by playing well in practice, practicing harder, accepting responsibility. Because now you can't hide. Other teams scout. You didn't even get scouted really in the AAU game. You know, other teams scout. They know whether you can go right or left, whether you're a three-point shooter. And they're going to try to make you play to your weaknesses. So, you know, they're on other teams scouting reports. So we're going to have to be much more uh, mature and tougher and, and uh, resilient. Last question now is here. We've talked about it before. You wanted the, this program to take to the point where you had scouts here every night. You had people, obviously tonight was a big night with, with scouts from 25 some odd teams. How much do you feel like the, the, just the entire scene, maybe the, the pressure you know, on, on some players on this team, you feel like they were dealing with some other? You know, could be. That could be a factor. And you kind of get a little anxious and you rush and you know, but we have conversations about that. But in the course of a game, you have to get, keep your composure. And really, it's all about Alabama playing well on every possession to give us an opportunity to win. Those same folks that were here tonight, they'll come back again. Um, you know, Texas, they haven't played perfectly every game. And they have a couple of guys that they're looking at on their roster. But, you know, when you're playing against a guy like Bamba, who's projected to potentially be a lottery pick on the DeAndre Aytons of the world. And we're going to see a lot more in conference. They got a few uh, that's going to show up from Texas A&M in Tuscaloosa on December 30th. So we better be ready to make the right decisions with the basketball and uh, make sure that we keep the right focus and confident and, um, you know, play the right way. We just didn't play the right way enough of the time on both ends of the floor tonight. Merry Christmas, everybody.